Welcome back folks, it's Keith Don Rabbit Groves and today I thought I'd give you a little update on our greenhouse. So we wanted to keep uh, the greenhouse so that we could keep stuff growing in here all year round. Uh, the winters are not super cold here in Atlanta, but uh, they still are very cold for um, some of your warm growing plants. Um, so what we did try to do here is to create a uh, uh, thermal mass. So let me show you what we did. We, uh, we used some of the pickle barrels that we had from the rainwater harvesting. Uh, I had three of them. We still have one out there collecting rainwater and actually that rainwater comes in here and I can fill these up if we needed to. Um, everything in here is absolutely full so we don't need to at this moment. But um, you go online and it looks and it says to start uh, to take two and a half times the square footage of your greenhouse and that's how many gallons of water you want for thermal mass and either add or subtract. Um, this is 180 square feet so we should use 440 gallons. Um, with everything I got in here we're running right around 420 gallons. Um, you can, I don't know if you can hear, it is raining outside. There is no sun. <laughs> so we're not really getting a lot of thermal. Um, it's telling me we're about uh, 52 degrees. It's about 44, 45 degrees outside right now. So we're still a little warm than um, outside and it is about 11 o'clock in the morning. So we've gone all night. Um, these pickle barrels are working out pretty good. Um, I didn't have these three pickle barrels in here. I was actually trying to use that metal drum and that didn't really work out right. Um, it seemed to be more of a heat sink than a, a heat source. Um, and I had my tomato plants on top of that. Uh, we had two days of below freezing and no sun and our tomato plants uh, didn't like that. So uh, they say tomatoes are the toughest thing and boy by what we have in here definitely they did not seem to like it. We still have some tomatoes on there. Um, I don't think they'll ever amount to anything anymore but right up until uh, really early January we were still pulling uh, cherry tomatoes off and I think uh, if I'd have had these in here uh, you know I don't know if we'd be still doing it but I think they would have lasted a lot better. Um, we have a lemon tree growing with a lemon on it. We have some peppers that are doing really good. Um, we have pineapples. Who would have thought pineapples would grow in Atlanta? But we've got three pineapples. One's a little small. I don't know if that's uh, some frost or freezing to it or just not super happy, but these other two are definitely thriving. And uh, on this side, we have uh, two avocado trees that are growing still and looking really good. So this does seem to be working. Um, I don't have any additional heat source in here. We're getting ready to add a bigger greenhouse and I'm hoping um, to attach it. Right now the design is attached to this. That will have to have some additional heat source to it, but using these thermal mass um, pickle barrels does uh, help out immensely. Um, if the sun is out, we get about 20 degrees warmer, and when it gets down, um, we'll say 26, 28 degrees overnight, you come out here first thing in the morning, and this thing is about 34, 36, eh, maybe up to 40, depending on really how bad the winds were. Um, we did go through and uh, bought some uh, roll-out insulation. It's really thin, about a quarter inch. I don't think the R value is very high, but it did help. We uh, spray foamed uh, all the cracks in the blocks. Um, we siliconed gaps. We try to minimize all the air leakage that we could in this so that uh, you know, we could try to hold the heat in. Uh, we closed that door completely off for the winter time and insulated that door. Uh, we put some insulation, some small insulation in the north wall uh, to just try out to see if that would actually help. Um, it probably did a little. Uh, we didn't do it all, so it didn't help uh, significantly. But 
it did seem to work a little bit. But anyhow, that is our greenhouse. Here it is January 21st and um, everything is still growing good. You know, so we're pretty happy with this concept. Uh, we've got some, I think those are, I don't remember what those are. I think those are, yeah, those are peppers. More peppers growing. Uh, we've got some um, roses growing there. So it's uh, some herbs growing down through here. So it's all just kind of an experiment this winter to see if we can get things growing all winter long and what does it take here in Atlanta to make that happen. So it's an update. I hope you like. If you do, please give me that thumbs up. If you hadn't hit that subscribe button, hit that subscribe. Appreciate it. You have a great day and I'll catch you on the next video.